Bruce, what to you is the biggest difference between how you played earlier this week against Baylor and then today? To make I think the- we're just ready to play. Obviously, the rivalry game, the energy in the building, our guys were focused. Uh, you know, we, I, you know, credit the Kansas. They are really good. They're tough. I told Bill before a game, their toughness, their grit, they make plays. Um, you know, our guys. I thought we for a lot when we guarded, we matched it. We just had some bad possessions in the stretch, of the second half, and the first half where they got us. Uh, it was 19 to 10 or something, uh, where we didn't get you know good looks, um, and that allowed them when they're in transition and and Dotson gets that ball. It's it's tough because he not not only can he score, but he makes a lot of right plays, decisions. Um, which makes a difference. So I thought we guarded well. We turned him over 16 times. Rebounding was, uh, you know, a, a big thing, even though it's six to six second chance points. But, um, you know, we we're ready to play. We played hard. We competed. We just four or five, a little foul trouble second half, a uh, little foul trouble first half. Um, and then you, you probably don't have enough offensive weapons in gut check time. Um, and they made the plays to get it back to six, eight, and then they win the game. Yeah, it was tied with about eight minutes to go, and then they went on that run. What just was the difference down the stretch? We just had bad possessions. You know, you have Cardi out. How long do you leave him out with four? Um, you know that that you know, and we need somebody else to step up. I thought we had a couple, couple opportunities that had free throws hurt us in the first half, but I guess twelve for eighteen is not quite as bad. And, and Mac, you know, I don't know why they have they count it as a violation. He makes it and they take it off. I'm not sure they got him three for three. But he obviously that one at the end, uh, but uh, you know we just not it. You know we just needed somebody else to step up and make make a shot, make a play. Uh, and you know, and the one thing again, credit to them, they are very good defensively. And that, that's you know since since they went small ball, they're they're really good defensively, and obviously it helps to have uh, the big fella there inside, you know, to anchor their defense. Obviously, a tough season, but when you look at this game, do you look at it and say, "Where's this been?" Because you- well, and that's why I asked our guys after. I said, "You know, just do it for yourself this last week. Come back with the same mindset." You know, we got. You know, we've always prided ourselves on defense, and um, you know, we we just uh, you know we haven't been quite as good defensively, and and uh, you know, play together. You know, you know, I. Coach Snyder sent me a text, and we talked about it all week, 100% commitment to, to teamwork and selflessness. And, and that's what I talked about all week, and that's got to be our commitment here this last, uh, last stretch of this last week. And got senior day, got at Oklahoma State, and then senior day, Iowa State. Uh, you know, if anything, do it for themselves. I, I wanted them to win for themselves today. And, you know, it would have been, it would have been nice for them. But we just, uh, again, credit Kansas. They found a way to win. If, if you guys play like you did today throughout the Big 12 season, could it be argued you guys be above 500 right now? I think we could be. I thought we'd be in the middle of the mix, you know, and, and uh, Texas with a big win today, TCU with a big win today. You know, that's what I, I knew we weren't going to compete. You know, we were going to be too young, too new for a championship, but I thought we could compete for that middle of the pack. And we had a lot of games where, you know, if it goes, a play or two goes the other way, uh, you know, it, it could have been a different season, but when you keep losing them, then it, it can go the other way. And I, you know, again, I'm happy for the guys and proud that they came back today with a good mindset and battled against the number one team in the country. You talked about the guys on the billboard, and they were kind of the guys that that led you today. Is that kind of what you well, were looking the for? Well, the consistency all is what we need, and you know, they, you know, they're go- when your best players play well, it makes you a lot, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, you know, as a coach, and uh, obviously they, you know, you look at their stats. No, no one's overwhelming except one guy, and he, he, he's a difference maker. I thought bronze three was really important. As it's a two-point game, we have a little mix-up, and he hits that wide-open one. Um, you know that, and that was a big bucket. Got it to five, and then it was tough to come back after that. Bruce, how much of a difference is, is Dotson's speed and, and how oh, difficult is it to deal with that? And, and, and the thing is, he makes the right play. It, it's, so he can score. He can get downhill. Um, you know, I thought first half we gave him a few easy ones, uh, backdoor and miss up on some. But, you know, for the, after that, there's just – we made it tough on them other than transition. And uh, But, you know, you got a guy like that, that guy, he's just it's, – it's elite speed. It's – 
quickness, getting down, getting downhill. But he does, you know, there's, he got 25 today, and he's their lead scorer, but he'll also make the right plays. I thought we did a pretty good job on Garrett, and Garrett's been pretty good for them, and it gives them another point guard, and we just, we just kind of disrupted him a little bit. Bruce, how key of a moment was it when Cardi got his fourth foul? Yeah, and it's, and, you know, it's a, I don't want to say, it's just it's a, a cheap one, dumb one, whatever, you know, just it, no need to do it. And that, you know, because he can, obviously he can make plays for us. And, you know, he, and it, it helps everybody else because he can get downhill like Dotson can to make people help. I thought Mac was really good. Um, you know, he, he played hard. Uh, you know, really battled. That's tough. You know, even when Azubuki was in there, he was manning up. He was playing strong. You know, Xavier gave a great effort defensively, I thought, and leadership. And, uh, and we just needed maybe one more guy to step up and make a couple more shots. On that uh, Brown three in the second half, what went wrong for you guys on that play? Like, who had the assignment on that play? On that uh, on the uh, Brown three in the uh, second half, when he got open for a three, wh who had the assignment on that play? And kind of what went wrong for hey, you guys? You know, it was, I think they call five up and they get it. They do a little ball screen, pop to the five. They got a guy going back door. We just, you know, we didn't communicate. Boom, he swung it and and then he jumped up and made it. You know, we, again credit to him. We were we were pretty fortunate. They missed some wide open threes too that usually they make um, on some second chance points. But, uh, you know, hopefully a credit to our defense that uh, we played hard and, and disrupted them and didn't give them the easy ones. Teams get going on easy ones. And, and you know, we just don't get enough of them. And, but when teams get easy ones, the hoop looks bigger, you feel better, score starts going the other way. And uh, I thought we fought them and made it tough on them. Obviously, the first one ended in the not a, a, a special moment in K-State, Kansas rivalry history. Uh, we wanted to make sure this one started with a, a positive moment of, of sportsmanship. And, and you can move forward now and, you know, worry about what, what the game and, and how it's played. Uh, Dejuan had 34 minutes. Just talk about his game. And well, he plays his butt off. Um, one of my friends is here, and his son just said he loves days one. And, you know, no one plays harder. He just got it. You know, we've talked about it before. He's got to play stronger. He made, he made some big – one of the things I wrote on board, little plays, like, you know, he gets those offensive rebounds. He, he gets a steal here and there. Uh, you know, just those things are, are, are big. And, uh, you know, he's, he's got it. If he'll work at it, I know he will. Uh, he, I believe he'll have a bright future ahead of him. Bruce, you, got, you guys have come close, but you've lost several games at, at home this season. Just how painful has that been, not being able to get that success on home court? And that's, it's disappointing. And, and I, you know, I, I told the guys after we, after we played Tech real well on the road, I thought we'd come back. And obviously, Tech is playing at a high level now. But I thought we'd come back and, and really be ready to play. And, and, and we, you know, again, Ramey goes crazy, Texas is like, but that, that's us. We got to make that decision defensively to get stops, especially you win. Defense gives you a chance on the road. At home, it gives you the chance to dominate. And, and we just, we're good. We're solid defensively, but obviously not good enough, uh, especially in this league. And, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, that's why it's, they got one last chance next Sunday, Saturday. We got a game Wednesday, but they got to, you know, I hope they, to their, to honor those senior Xavier and, and our other guys, I hope they come with a great mindset and ready to play and come to battle and, and find a way to get a win. It would be nice for them. Thank you, Coach. Yep. You got something for Xavier. And Xavier, if, it, if you guys play the way you did today, any, any question you guys would be 500 or better right now? Uh, you know, uh, especially coming out fighting against the number one team in the nation. Uh, we just got to keep that same mentality going into practice. And I feel like we had a great week of practice as well. Just keep it that going. And I feel like we would have been, been doing pretty much better. Xavier, what just was the difference over those final eight minutes? You had it tied and then they pulled away. Uh, execution, you know, we took a couple of bad shots, a couple of bad threes, uh, had a couple of turnovers as well. I think we got a shot clock violation. So it's just key times we got to uh, execute the game plan.
Xavier, what was the biggest difference to you between just the way you guys came out playing in Waco and then the way that you started playing today? Uh, the start of the game, of course, you know, we came out. Uh, I think it was still, uh, what, 12-4. I believe first time out, but we were still in the game, still competing, still fighting. Uh, we came out with a lot of injury uh, enthusiasm too, and that's some of the things we uh, talked about this whole week. And I feel like we did a good job of that, and not let them get to a big lead. Are there any thoughts that you have of like, what if, what if we had played with this kind of energy intensity all year? I mean, it's what if, you know, you never know. So, did did those first 32 minutes remind you guys of what you're capable of? Uh, definitely, you know, uh, we show we show capabilities of what we can do defensively, you know. Um, uh, but one thing, we can't go out the free throw line, so we got to uh, learn to stop fouling, of course. But because uh, in the beginning, I mean, the first half, that's all they were scoring off of, really. Uh, so we do a good job of just staying locked in on defense and stop fouling. I feel we'd be all right. Does this game and how you played against the number one team in the country sort of motivate you guys and show you that you can compete with the best going down this last stretch and heading into the conference tournament, knowing you know your season's not over yet? Uh, definitely. I mean, we knew this from the beginning of the season. Uh, I, just, I keep instilling to our guys that uh, just have confidence. Go out there and play, uh, play your butts off every possession. And I feel like we did a great job of that today. Uh, just didn't uh, get the W in, our, in that column. But just keep going out there and keep playing your butt off. And that's just what I keep preaching to our teammates. And, uh, and they can keep doing that for me as well. You guys tied it up there at 48. And they go on an 8-0 run to take a uh, eight point lead. What was your guys' uh, reaction when they had that run? Uh, just stay calm, stay poised, and we got to get good shots. Uh, in the end, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't be able to do that, but just, just, just that was our message in the timeout as well. Just stay calm, stay poised, and execute the game plan.